this is an Arduino. This little piece of technological fortitude is capable of letting you control all different types of devices and real world technologies. And I think that it's high time that we see what all we can do with it. Let's make a GPS activated reverse geocaching puzzle box. And yes, that is a real thing, and yes, I am speaking English. Here's the concept. We start with a locked box that the user can't get into. It's like a modern day treasure chest that won't open unless you're standing in a specific GPS location. We want this box to give the user hints as to how to open it, so let's add a simple LCD screen and a button to interact with it. Inside the box we will have some type of locking mechanism and obviously a GPS locator. And driving this whole thing is an Arduino board and some batteries to power it. Here's what we'll need to make this work. You can find a full list of parts and prices for this project in the description below. Depending on what you already have available, you can probably complete this project for less than $100. This whole concept and idea is thanks to the clever mind of McCall Hart. You can find out more information about him and this project at the link below. Alright, tend those soldering tips and let's geek out. To make sure everything connects to the Arduino correctly and securely, we're going to make what's called a shield for the Arduino. You can buy a shield kit for this project at sundial.com that comes with all the pieces necessary to make it. I'm going to be using the 1.0 version of the shield for this video. So without further ado, let's get to soldering. Let's start by attaching the header pins. The easiest way to do this is to break them apart and insert them into the Arduino ports first. Then place the shield on top and solder the pins into place. Next we have two capacitors, so insert those into the shield and solder them into place and then go ahead and solder the resistor. The next step is to attach two rows of eight header pins. This will end up being the LCD connector. Next is the four right angle pins that will be used for the button, and then the three right angle pins for the servo. Okay, now we need to solder this, which will be the GPS port connector. This has very, very, very tiny connectors, so be very careful when soldering these as to not solder two of the connectors together. After that, let's attach the header pins for the 5 volt boost and solder it on, then do the same thing for the voltage power switch. Lastly, let's connect the battery terminal, making sure that the plus and minus wires are in the correct holes. Before we can connect everything to the shield, we need to solder the remaining 2x8 header pins to the LCD screen. And wire the 4-wire cable connector to the button, making sure that the colors are aligned like this. With that done, you can connect the shield to the Arduino and all the components to the shield. If you want, you can pop in a couple of AA batteries to ensure that all the components respond and are connected properly. Now for the fun part, mounting it into the box. You can use whatever box you want and can get as creative as you want for the locking mechanism. I'm going to be using the S-hook and I-bolt approach, but it's all 100% completely up to you and how you want your box to look. Okay, now to bring this monster to life, we need to tell the Arduino what to do. So jump over to your computer and download the Arduino software for your Windows, Mac, or Linux machine. This can upload commands to the Arduino telling it how to function. You can download a sample program from the Sundial website. And after loading it up, find this part of the code and adjust the open and closed values of your servo so that it works best with your box. Then you can add the longitude and latitude coordinates of the destination which you can find on Google Maps. Type in your location, right click and select what's here and then copy the two numbers to the latitude and longitude fields respectively. If you want you can scroll down to this section and change the messages that display whenever the button is pressed. Keep in mind that each line on the screen will only fit 8 characters. When you're done, press verify and you'll probably get some errors like this regarding the servo and GPS. This is because we need to download their code libraries in order for them to work properly. So you can visit this link to download the servo libraries and then jump over to this link to download the GPS libraries. 
Then just extract them to the library's folder of your Arduino installation. Restarting the Arduino program and then verifying your code again should result with no errors. So now what we need to do is upload it to our box. With all batteries removed, connect your Arduino box to the computer and in the Arduino program, select Tools, Board, and then select your brand of Arduino board. Then go to Tools, Serial Port to select the USB port that your Arduino is plugged into. Now click Upload on the program and it should start uploading to your Arduino. When it's done, it will run through the program showing you the welcome message, how far away you are from the destination, and how many attempts you have left. You can go back and adjust and re-upload until you've got it how you want it. Then unplug it from your computer, put some batteries in, put some type of treasure inside, give it to a friend, and let the games begin. There's tons of applications for this project, so let me know in the comments what you'd use this for. Click here to see our last video, and if you want more, please consider subscribing. And also be sure to check out our Google+, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Until next time, hack to learn. Don't learn to hack.